Yes. <laughs> One, two, three. It's, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> well, this memoir has been in the works since the 80s. I mean, first it was a journal. Then, then you know, Grant and I, he, he said, you've got to write your memoirs. He says, you have... It's an, too good. It's too good not it's to too do too good. It. Put it down. No one has a life like that. And I can't... And it's now looking back as I read these, you know, chapters, I'm going... Wow, that was fun. <laughs> and I was taking it all for so, like I was taking it for granted. I didn't see it as anything unique. I was just, you know, chugging ahead and doing this. Living and your life. Living my mm -hmm. life, living my life. And I look back on it now and I say, oh, I am so grateful. I really have a feeling of I didn't miss anything. For some reason or other, I managed to just do it. And this is about uh, the first threesome. Mm -hmm. It was like, when you have been totally conditioned to what I now would call pair bondage. Couple, 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 couple. It's hard not to be in the couple. And then you step outside that dynamic. And of course, one of the best ways to do that is is a three-way. Yeah. Because you Three ways are fun. You broke through the dyad. Yeah. And that's what we're so hooked on. So my idea was I wanted to do it with a girlfriend of mine that I knew. I wanted to become a, a certain level of comfort. Ginger O'Keefe. Ginger. <laughs> I have no idea where she is today. I had a low bed. I was lying on the bed. She was going down on me. Grant was fucking her from behind. So she was on knees? On her knees. Okay. Low bed. We used gotcha. to have... I, oh, I get it. So she's on her knees like yes. this. And Grant's on his knees behind her. And I'm lying back with a pillow behind my neck. Nice. And, and I can see the whole thing. And Grant can see the whole thing. Oh, and, you guys have the and, visual. Yeah, and then and Grant and I look at each other and big grin, you know, like, ooh, we're doing it. What's happening? We're really doing it. And, of course, she was busy at both ends. <laughs> and what happened? Well, the one person kind of is. <laughs> Always in the three seven. Someone's busy at both ends. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> I had my orgasm first. Of course. And then it goes down, and then I hear, ah, ginger comes, at which point I'm no longer getting head, which is fine. Which is fine, yeah, you can't I've had, my, I've had my orgasm. And then after her orgasm, Grant came. So it was like, tung, tung, tung. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that sweet? And then right after that, it was the first group sex party. I look, and my eyeballs, I'm just looking at people having sex, and I... And I realized how much I'd really been starved for those images. We all are. I don't mean porn. No, real people having sex. It's totally different. It is completely yeah. different. It's not porn at all. It's real. It's just you can smell it. You can mm. see it. You can feel it. The group sex experience actually mm. prepared me for the whole 25 years I ran the workshops. That it was working with a group dynamic in a sexual setting that is very specific. So at one point with the group sex, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not a, 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 a what do you call it, a playing field. Equal. Equal, equal playing field. The, the men were coming, the women weren't. The women were faking pleasure. And I liked how you said they would all hang out in your bedroom with the vibrators. Oh, that's, that's what happened. And then, so this is when I started to think, you know, workshop. We would all come back here and I had two full, <laughs> two full size beds pushed together. And, of course, we had the vibrators plugged in. And there would be the women vibrating. We were, you know, playing with titties and kissing. and you know, That's what women like anyway. It's like having your dog on your lap while you masturbate, you know. It's very warm and fuzzy. It's <laughs> yeah, sweet. that's what we like. Very sweet. So we would carry on for another hour or two. Sometimes the guys would, would mosey in and, you know, watch a while. So people say, how did you get, how how did you get into that? How well, did you go that? Stay, step at a time. Group sex. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend it. But you have to really be centered. You have to know who you are. Yeah. You have to be able to say yes and no. You have to know your boundaries. And then you can enjoy it. And bring your vibrator. Yes. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Let AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.